Cause you lose Oh, perché va? Y'all, Baba Booey 13 here bringing you a video for iEnthusiast.com. That's i enthusiast.com. This is a video about the theme I just finished. It took me about a month or so to uh, complete this theme, uh, give or take. And it's available now on Insanely I Repo. That's repo, R E P O dot Insanely I. That's I N S A N E L Y I. Dot com. Add that repo, and I'll include this in the description, to Cydia, and you can download this theme, Boof for, then in quotes, Baba Boofy, for free. And uh, this is probably the first HD free theme of its caliber. It's pretty complete. I worked real hard on this. I've uh, themed the whole status bar. Mind you, that some of this stuff, like the status bar, is not going to come out in HD because of Winterboard. Winterboard is in need of an update, and it doesn't quite theme the uh, UI images. Um, in HD, so uh, hopefully Sir Rick will get on that and we'll be able to uh, theme that back for you in HD, which I don't know if I'll be releasing publicly. That might just be a release. The updates may just be for my donators because I'm finished with this. This is it. It's done. Finished product except for what I do for myself and my donators will have, um, will have an option to uh, get those updates as they come. But a little history here. Booth was started by an artist by the name of Mattahan on DeviantArt, and it was started for a PC theming. And uh, the themes are very unique. I love Boof. Boof came out for the iPhone right around the time of the, I believe, the iPhone 3G. They might have been an early release of a very simple Boof theme for the iPhone uh, 2G, the first generation. And uh, But I'm not sure exactly the timing there. But anyway, Boof has become kind of a cult favorite in the theming community. It's uh, very well known. And uh, um, a wonderful girl by the name of Doreen started a thread on uh, ModMy forums, and um, she wanted to get the ball rolling on people porting this to uh, iPhone 4, and that's what we did, and a uh, big credits go out to Doreen for starting it, and Stereo89 on ModMy for creating some of the, a couple of these icons. I wanted to keep it pretty original, but I used a few of his um, that he threw on the forums, like this cool-ass uh, iTunes 10 icon I thought was really bitchin' done in booth. So I couldn't resist being that iTunes 10 came out right when this thread started, and uh, and it was just perfect timing, and it looks great. Anyways, kudos, guys, and uh, thank you again for being part of this and uh, starting this whole thing. Anyways, so uh, this theme is um, it's using no icon masks. I think I figured out first how to using Winterboard alone, not uh, not manually changing icon uh, files in the system how to get rid of a black border on your App Store icons if you try to theme it without a mask. And uh, after a little playing around, I figured out how to use a null file for, for an icon mask and then um, a transparent for, um, for the overlay and then that null for the shadow. I believe that was a combination. Anyways, I was able to get rid of them. The only problem is the negative effect is any unthemed App Store icon that you put on there is going to come out very square in nature because it has no more icon mask overlay or shadow. So you kind of got to keep up with your icons and theme them yourself. So what I've done is I've included an icon pack in the theme so you can do that. This also comes complete with SB settings themed and your wallpapers will be found in your settings 
and your uh, stock wallpapers folder when you install this theme. So it's going to be in your wallpapers folder at the bottom. You'll see how these are, the, the actual package will install those for you. And this is, you'll see the springboard. You'll know which the lock screen is. It's that angry face with boof on it for your entry. I think it's pretty cool. And I've included a couple extra, like for Q Tweeter background, you'll see this kind of cool uh, design, which is a classic boof design that I changed the color of, classic boof wallpaper and whatnot. Anyways, what I want to do in this video is show you guys how to theme your own icons so you can, uh, you can do your own. And this is using iFile. You should all have iFile. It's a very powerful tool. But anywho, your uh, theme will be in private stash var theme, private var stash themes, and it'll be boof for Baba Boofy. You'll find a folder that says extra icons. Go in there. You'll find um, a gang of icons, including folders for that icon, for more icons, on top of icons, on top of icons. There's hundreds in there. So uh, what you'll need first to complete all your icon folders are going to be in bundles. You have to create an actual folder for your icons if you're on iPhone 4, which is themes only for iPhone 4. So you're going to want to go into your home button, go into applications, you're going to go into a uh, your app here. In settings, you're going to want to go into settings first in iFile and uh, enable application names so you'll know which is which, otherwise it will come up as numbers. Anyways, go into, let's say, Angry Birds for instance. You're going to go into the Angry Birds app. You're going to scroll down so you find Info P List. You're going to go find Bundle Identifier down here. Right underneath that is your name of your app, what the phone is going to f see it as. So let's see. You're going to select. You're going to copy and paste this right here. This whole thing between is marks com.clickgamer.angrybirds. It's right underneath the bundle identifier. And uh, you're going to copy and paste that. You're going to go back to your theme. You're going to go into Baba Boofy 4. You're going to go into bundles, edit on top, plus down there. And then you're going to paste that here in name. And then you're going to press create. So once you have that, it's going to be in one of many of these folders. You're going to go back into your theme. You're going to go to your icons. You're going to find the one you want. You're going to press edit. You're going to select that one. And you're going to copy link. Done. You're going to go back into your bundles folder. You're going to find that one that you created. You're going to press edit again. And you're going to press paste. Now you're also going to have to rename that here by pressing the arrow. You're going to rename that exactly what it's called in your application. So go back home, go into Applications, go to, let's say again, Angry Birds. You're going to go into the Angry Birds app. You're going to scroll down until you find what it's called for the iPhone 4, which is usually followed by an at 2 x So this is it. You're going to name it that. If you have problems, name it whatever else is there. Make copies of those icons. So there's three of them, just like here, and it won't fail you. But for the iPhone 4, you're usually going to see at 2x. Anyways, that's my theme. That's a real quick, um, in order to see that icon change, you're going to go into settings, you're going to diselect, you're going to unselect uh, Baba Boofy, and then you're going to let it respring, then you're going to go back and select it again, and that icon should be themed. Anyways, that's all the time I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the theme. If you do, there's a lot of work put into this theme, and uh, feel free to donate to ericelm77 at gmail.com and I'll put that in the link as well in the description and um, yeah have fun with it donate via pay PayPal and um, that will all go toward, towards my next theme that I'm going to be working on from scratch with my brother it'll be all be original art and I think you all will really enjoy that one so go visit us at i-enthusiast.com that's the letter i-enthusiast.com for all the best iNews reviews and how-tos, and uh, go into uh, Insanely, Insanely I Repo and get my theme. And um, feel free to try one of their many cracked apps, which I don't personally b believe in, but if you want to try it before you buy it, these guys have it all. So uh, I'm Bob Booby 13 I hope you enjoy the theme. Peace. I'm out of here.